In this series we're going to be taking a look at Laravel Fortify. Now Laravel Fortify is a new package for Laravel 8 which is a front-end agnostic authentication back-end scaffolding for Laravel. Now I know that can sound like a lot of word soup but basically what this allows you to do it allows you to interact with Laravel's authentication scaffolding and you can use any front end that you want. So in this series I'm going to show you how to interact with Laravel Fortify to log in and register users within a Laravel application. Now I'm going to be using Bootstrap for this, but you can use any front end framework that you want that you feel more comfortable with. There's just a few things that you need to do and set in your forms when you're submitting to Laravel Fortify and I'll walk through them and they're going to be the same no matter what front end framework that you're actually using. Now if you don't want to write all these views yourself, then Laravel Fortify is probably not for you. There is something else called Laravel Jetstream and what this does is this creates all the views for you using either Livewire or Interior.js and they interact with Laravel Fortify behind the scenes. So if you're happy with using one of those presets then you're more than welcome to use Laravel Jetstream instead. So if you want to use your own front end templates and framework of your choice then stick with this with Laravel Fortify. So here's what we're actually going to create. So we're going to create this registration form where a user can register and then also once that user is registered I'm going to show you how you can sign that user in and this is all using Laravel Fortify behind the scenes and this works very much in the same way that previous Laravel authentication scaffolding has worked so once you're logged in you'll have access to the user object that you're probably already very familiar with if you've used Laravel before in the past if you're interested in this series don't forget to subscribe to see when the latest updates are out and also follow me on Twitter where I'll tweet updates to the course. I've also recently set up a Patreon page so if you would like to help support me financially to ensure videos like this continue to be released on my channel for free then please consider signing up to my Patreon and the links are in the description. So in the next video let's jump in and look at how we can start setting up Laravel Fortify in a new Laravel project.